This is Beefcake Yeti. You're at the Frozen Diner. Thanks for joining me. This is Titanfall Beta on Xbox One. Let's check out the options real quick. That's it. That's it. That's all we get. You're going to jump right in. I just want to get some footage up there. Um, I, I don't really even know how this game works. But I, I do hear from watching some videos online about it that it's fairly easy to jump into. Like easier than, than Ghosts or Battlefield. Because it's, so, it might be less of a learning curve. Hard to say. We'll see if it's true. We'll see if it's true or not. Everyone out here is either running from their past or chasing their future. So says Macallan. Makalakalalan. Yeah, it gives me a good uh, excuse to dust off the old Xbox One as well. This unit is authorized for military use only. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Oh, training simulator. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning: Unregistered user detected. Training pod is authorized. Welcome, pilot. To calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Tink. Tink. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? Uh, that'd be a negative. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. Alright. That's the old Hammond Industries pilot training pod. You are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Sprint through the tunnel. Jump over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. Missed it. Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. Yeah. Okay. I got it. As a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Run toward the wall at a diagonal angle and jump once to start wall running. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. Well done. Well, the old freeform wall run. Okay. Use sprinting, jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. Completion requirements met. So it's kind of uh, some elements of parkour, I guess. Which is interesting. Jump kits extend your natural jumping ability. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit.
excellent navigational skills, pilot. Oh, you're too kind. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. Okay. Basic combat. In closed quarter situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the Smart Pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. Get close enough to a valid target and the Smart Pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your Smart Pistol to neutralize the target. Wait for the weapon to finish the lock-on process before pulling the trigger. Target eliminated. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. Eliminate all of the targets with your smart pistol. Targets neutralized. Interesting. Interesting! Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. Target down. I'd like to say that's somewhat fairly intuitive. Intuitive, of course. Switch to your rifle. Nice. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. Targets eliminated without a magazine swap. Your ammunition conservation has been noted. Oh no! Are they gonna use that against me? Throw a grenade into each of the windows. it was a little further further away combat scenario initialized destroy all opposition in the area your mini map is located in the upper left corner of your AR display look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Whoa, all right. The old Sidewinder. Destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon.
destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. Good job. Taking on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Get close to your Titan to mount up. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Titan Dash. All right. All right. <laughs> Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. Please dash to the left. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Dash backwards. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. out of the way of the rockets. Alright, I got it, I got it. It took me a minute. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. Well played. if I was supposed to step on those guys or not, but I did anyways, you know. Skilled pilots often disembark from their titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for your titan. Hack. 
Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the... When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. Yeah. Pilot your Titan to the exit. All right. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Next wave. Another wave, all right. Next wave incoming. Be advised, enemy titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Oh no! Each titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Your Titan's health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Prepare for the next wave. Next wave incoming. Enemy Titan shields online. Use caution. damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as doomed state. Your Titan will inevitably self-destruct once it is doomed. Eject. In this simulation, Eject. you will have Eject. infinite time to eject. This will not be the case in actual combat. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. 
Okay, I guess we learned everything we need. Woohoo! For your safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. Okay, well that's it for tutorial. This is Beefcake Yeti signing off. Hope you enjoyed it.